hello students welcome to science class today in our science class we are going to discuss question and answers from the chapter changes in our environment we will be discussing mcqs and different objective type of questions also short and long answers from this chapter which is chapter number 15 from living science textbook so let us immediately start so to begin with let us start with first question which is tick the correct answer and in that the first sub question is the increase in the number of factories and vehicles has resulted in the increase of the options are oxygen methane carbon dioxide water vapor so what should be the correct answer the increase in number of factories and vehicles has resulted in increase of carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide that is option c is the correct answer let us see second question which is the earth's atmosphere is blanket of the options are wool gases water vapor dust particles so the earth's atmosphere is blanket of what it is blanket of all the gases so option b is a correct answer third question which of the following gases is not a greenhouse gas the options are carbon dioxide oxygen methane cfc so what is the correct answer the correct answer is oxygen oxygen which is around 21% of all the gases is not a greenhouse gas it means that it does not lead to increase in temperature it does not affect the temperature okay so that is our answer so option b is a correct answer fourth question the change in climate is leading to the dash the options are melting of ice at the poles rise in water levels of oceans frequent flooding of places all the above so what should be the correct answer the correct answer is all the above all this happens if there is change in climate melting of ice also happens rise in water levels also happen frequent flooding of places also happen so option d is a correct answer so the next question is match the columns in column a we have spilling of oil into the sea then second is melting of polar ice caps then third is animals giving out this gas fourth is cfc and fifth is the process of earth getting heated and in column b we have global warming refrigerator carbon dioxide harmful for water animals and plants effect of global warming okay so spilling of oil into the sea should match with harmful for water animals and plants then melting of polar ice caps okay it is a result of what not of course it is a effect of global warming but global warming there are two options here effect of global warming or global warming so what should be the answer melting of polar ice cap should be effect of global warming then animal gives out this gas animals gives out which gas carbon dioxide cfc is what it uh, is it is emitted because of refrigerators okay and process of earth getting heated this is what we call as global warming so what is global warming process of earth getting heated so this should be the answers let us now check the answers so these are the answers and we were correct spilling of oil into the sea harmful for water animals and plants melting of polar ice caps effect of global warming animals giving out this gas carbon dioxide cfc refrigerator and process of earth getting heated global warming so first was spilling of oil into the sea okay this is harmful for water animals and plants why because when oil gets spilled onto the sea surface the process of dissolving oxygen into the water gets stopped okay and animals cannot breathe anymore inside water which is not a good thing because without breathing we hardly can live okay we cannot live in that conditions so animals die inside the sea then melting of polar ice cap because of rise in temperature it melts so this is effect of global warming 
then animals give out this gas generally carbon dioxide is given by animals cfc chlorofluorocarbon the full form of this chemical it is emitted by refrigerators uh, then process of earth getting heated it is again a global warming the definition itself is global warming definition let us now see the next question which is right short answers and first in that list is what is a greenhouse here you will write a greenhouse is a glass house where we grow plants especially during winter okay so this is what i was talking about a greenhouse okay it is made out of glass and why we it is made out of glass because sunlight should get into it second question what are greenhouse gases here you will write gases that do not allow the heat to escape back into space are called greenhouse gases and remember that this gases results in global warming okay why temperature is rising because these gases are not allowing heat to escape so here i have shown some greenhouse gases carbon dioxide methane and all other these are the greenhouse gases okay third question how are certain monuments getting affected because of pollution here you will write you will start with an example of taj mahal the white marble of the taj mahal in agra is turning yellow because of the chemicals given by factories around it okay and this is how certain monuments are getting affected because of pollution let us now see fourth question what is global warming well greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap the heat of the sun and there is rise in temperature on the earth this is called global warming i repeat greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap the heat of the sun and there is rise in temperature on the earth this is called global warming let us now start with long answers and in this first question is what do you mean by pollution how can we prevent pollution of air and water here you will write pollution is spoiling of land air and water what is pollution spoiling of land air and water and then you will write we must restrict the use of vehicles and electricity local bodies like panchayats municipalities and corporations must take people aware of the bad effects of pollution so what should municipalities corporation panchayats such local bodies do local bodies like panchayats municipalities and corporation must make people aware of the bad effects of pollution let us now see second question what should the government do to prevent pollution here you will write the government must make people realize that pollution can be reduced if factories are located in areas away from places where people live Tall chimneys fitted with filters are used in factories to let out smoke and gases. Waste is treated and made harmless before being dumped into water bodies. Garbage like wet or dry from houses is thrown out at proper dumping place. The use of plastic bag is reduced. Okay students we must do all these things. Our government should do all these things to prevent pollution. third question how can rubber be recycled here you will write used tires can be cut into shapes of swing seats climbing frames rubber sleepers or chappals then rubber tubes are also used to make jewelry items like bead rings and bracelets then next point you will mention old truck tires are recycled to make playground surfaces pencil pouches and diary covers okay so used tires can be cut into shapes of swing seats climbing frames and rubber sleepers or chappals and next you will write rubber tubes are also used to make jewelry items like beads rings and bracelets and last point you will mention old truck tires are recycled to make playground surfaces pencil pouches and diary covers and with that we arrive on to the last question for the day which is how can metals be recycled here you will write metal objects thrown away by people can be reused craftsmen buy and melt pieces of scrap to make frames decoration pieces and jewelry every new car has some recycled part of an old car empty aluminum cans are cleaned shredded melted and reshaped into new cans for reuse so here you can see that this metallic 
objects that you are seeing like metallic vessels are there then various metallic parts are there they can be recycled well students that was all from my side if you have any question feel free to ask you can put your comments in comment box so thanks for watching this video we will be coming up with a new video very soon so until then take care bye bye